Hello and welcome to a new video about Internet Protocol version 6, talking about networks. Uh, today we are going to talk about the Internet Protocol version 6 header and I already mentioned several, mentioned, 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 <laughs> mentioned several times that uh, Internet Protocol version 6 header is easier than version 4 header. Here we have the version 4 header. Huh? This was the version 4 header, and I'm now, now going to try to map those things a little bit. Uh, well, we'll see if we are lucky. So, Internet Protocol version 6 is an Internet Protocol. So, the first, again, like here, the first four bits are the version. Uh, try to map the colors. The version 4 bits. Here there is 6 written in. Okay. Version 6. It's 4 or 6, yeah, but here Internet Protocol version 6, it's 6. Alright. And then we have we have no internet header length because the internet header of of a B version six is always the same. Right? It's always the same. So the next part which is coming yeah, is five bits of this DSCP. One, two, three, four, five. DSCP and it's the same differentiated service code point. Differentiated service code point. And then the next one was this ECP. Yeah. The congestion notification. This is also here, two bits wide, so it looks pretty much the same. Eh? ECP, explicit congestion notification. It has the same meaning as in protocol version 4. Uh, so, yeah, please don't send me. I'm congested. The congestion is already ongoing. And then, uh, this total length, this is not here. This is not here. Uh, we have here now a so-called flow label. Uh, this flow label are the missing 20 20 bits It's the flow label Actually you see it somehow <sighs> identification uh, is <laughs> packets with the same flow level huh? flow level Label. Packets with the same flow label will take the same path through the network. Okay? That's it. So they are somehow indicating they belong together. And so they are treated as they would as a unit. Yeah, everybody is every, everything the same. Uh, will take the same path. Through the network. 
So that it's not cannot happen that if that we're waiting uh, to whatever reason to we're waiting for something. Hmm? And then we have 16 bits of uh, payload length. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sixteen bit. That's the payload length. It's the length of the IP packet. Without header. Yeah. So the header length is not included. The header length is always this. Yeah. It's always looking the same. And then we have something which somehow belongs together. This is a next header. Okay. Next header. 8 bit. Next header. So in there, there's written a number. Yeah? We talked about this. Identifies the next layer protocol here. Yeah? This is pretty much this, this field here in IP version 4, protocol field, number of protocol of upper layer. Yeah? Identifies. Next level protocol. All the same numbers. Yeah. But why is it called different? Why is it not all also called protocols? Well, because this header, this is always a fixed length. This is why we don't have a uh, uh, IP header length. This is why we don't have a header checksum and so on. Uh, that the IP version 4 header had options, so-called options, where you could say, okay, I, I want to have a hop count, I want to have a timestamp, uh, stuff like that, yeah, inside. Is this here also possible? Yes, it is, but with a so-called header extensions, yeah, or next header extension. What is a header extension? This is exactly dealing with such things. Right? So it is dealing with there are different extension headers, yeah? and they will be below here. And if here in next header is written, okay, next one is an extension header, we know okay, we have additional functionality in there, but it's not part of the header, it's already part of the payload. This is why the payload length here, without header, but with extension headers. So the extension headers are basically the options there. Uh, there are also different, different variants and so on. Um, If we don't have any options, then next header will identify the next level protocol. All right, and then there is something the hop limit. This is now no longer called time to live. Yeah? This is the hop limit. How many routers can the packet pass? Each router will reduce by one. Yeah? 
if zero, packet will be dropped. And now I'm out of space and the rest I'm not going to explain. <laughs> of course I'm explaining it, but uh, it's, it's very easy. It's very easy because actually the next chunk is the, is the source address. We need 128 bit of source address. Right. Source address. And the next bit is the destination address. This is simply the IP address of the packet destination address. And that's it. That's the Internet Protocol version 6 header. Nothing more, nothing less. Uh, done. <laughs> Internet Protocol version 6 header. Now we talked a lot about Internet Protocols. We talked a lot about protocol addresses and so on. However, I said also the internet is working with this internet protocol. However, in the in the in the uh, browser, you are not typing 173 dot whatever in IP version four in IP version six. You don't type any any address inside there. You type a name. You type a name of a website. Huh? How is this working? How is this working? That that we get to this website. Next video is about this, the domain name service. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.